Hello and welcome back guys, it's me again. Isn't it a beautiful morning inside of my Minecraft world? Well, it's not really a beautiful morning. I may or may not have slept in early today. Whatever, I need to go talk to Duncan and see what is going on today. Where, where is he? Is he by the door as always? Oh, there he is! Duncan, how are you doing today, my lovely buddy? Oh, come on. Just, don't turn your back on me. Come on, I just want to talk to you. What's that? S something's going on? Explain this. The mail delivery service just called. Saying they got a mysterious call from somewhere? Alright then, I guess I'll go and investigate that. Gonna close the trap door here on my way down. I have no idea what he's talking about, but... Yeah, I have made a couple minor changes to the base ever since you last saw me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, ever since you last saw me, I did make a couple minor changes to the base. Um... For example, over here, I've upgraded the ceiling of this hallway, so it looks nicer, and I've also added an additional column over here. I can't break this set of stone blocks, though, because then it would be visible on the outside. And through here, I've also upgraded the, well, some of the interior walls, and I've added a ceiling to the sinking simulator. So, yeah. Anywho, um, besides home renovations, how are you guys doing today? I am doing lovely. Um, okay then, through the breaker room here. Like, it's just really annoying how many gates and doors and trap doors I have to open and close on my way out through ground level. Which is why, but then again, the ground level's much safer than taking the above ground level entrance, and... Yes, the lovely view of my world. Um, if you see the navy blue or the lapis building right there in between the burger and the... Um, furniture store, that is actually where we're gonna be going today for some reason, because... Apparently, Duncan says we have a mysterious phone call that was given to them, so I guess we have no choice but to investigate. Should I pick up some chicken? Yeah, I think I should, because I haven't had any breakfast yet. Hold on, gotta grab some gold ingots for the currency. Cooked chicken is four gold. So I'll just come back here and plop... One, two, three... Four gold inside of that chest. And in return, I guess I'll grab one cooked chicken. No, I wanted one cooked chicken. Ah, yes, my breakfast. Yes, this cooked chicken looks delicious. Regardless, um, yeah, I love chicken. Chicken is so good. I mean, chicken burgers, chicken strips. Oh, uh, no more time to talk. Here we are, and it looks like one of the villagers is jumping around like crazy. Calm down, dude! Calm down! Like, what's going on? What happened? Mysterious racer or mysterious person calling? From a place where two ravines meet? That's only possible in Vincent's territory! Has he kidnapped someone again? Oh my goodness. For those of you who don't know Vincent, Vincent's the evil clone of my character who was created inside of the cloning machine. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that he's at it again. Well then, I guess if he's at it again, our only option is to go and stop him. As usual. Right then, I don't want to go via the cave route, just in case he happens to spot me over the mountain. So I guess today will be a little bit of a quick overview of the... Um, 
this area over here yet. I know I haven't done a world tour episode. I haven't even filmed a world tour episode for this area yet. So you guys are getting a massive sneak preview of what to expect later on. And oh no, is the sun going down? I certainly hope not. Yep, the sun's starting to set. But this is good, because this means we're going to be able to rescue him under the cover of darkness. I should probably go via the land. Oh, here's my house in this area, in case you're wondering. Denkin and Wolfette's place, but there is not enough time to worry about that right now. I really need to fix that. I need to add stairs over there. Right then, now we're going off the path, we're going into the woods, or... Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see, this is why I don't like going through woods. Oh, look! Oh, there's a nice little land bridge over here. Right then, keep running, keep running. Yeah, Vincent, I'm quite jealous of his place. It has a massive cave system with lots of room for expanding. If he needs to, anyways. Right then, on the back side of this mountain here, that's where Vincent's lair is located. I gotta try not to be spotted by him. Because he's usually located up there in some way, shape, or form. And he usually never leaves. Okay, then. I'm gonna have to duck behind here, because otherwise he's gonna see me. Did he see me? I don't think he did. I think he missed it. Okay, then. Is this where they were talking about? The place where two ravines meet? I guess this is one ravine, but... Okay, gotta get through the lava over here. This is actually quite difficult. I really hate having to walk through this lava to get to this area, but regardless... Okay, then we're here. We are inside of the cave. I mean... I've seen one ravine. I don't think I've seen... Is this the place? Here. Yeah, this is... Whoa! Oh my gosh! I almost fell to my death. That is totally a second ravine. And it's also not worth the free chicken. Right then. Gotta hug the edge here or I'm gonna fall off and die. Right then, we made it. Is there anyone here? It looks like a racer's room. Yeah, we have a little crafting table to repair parts and a furnace for your fuel. And we have little places where trophies can be displayed here. And is this a Formula One car? It looks like it is, but it's decorated with an Irish flag paint job. Yeah, it looks like it's an Irish racer. Who could have done this? Oh, the shelf flips up to reveal a lot of... Let's go down... Well, would you look at that! Gold ore inside of this dude's... Wait a minute. This water doesn't look regular. This water has hallucinogens in the inside of them. Yeah, from what I can understand, the dude must have been hallucinating like there was a World Grand Prix going on the whole time and he was kidnapped by Vincent. Oh my gosh. Well, it's a good thing he's still in the area. It's a good thing he's still here. He's still alive in some essence. Alright, this way, this way. Yeah, now we gotta lead him out, which is gonna be quite difficult. Right then, now you come down here. Since you most likely don't have access to creative mode, you're going to have to mine your way through the rock. And then hopefully you have a supply of ladders on you. Never mind, he must have access to creative mode because he's already gone. Or maybe he's teleported. I'm not so sure. 
oh, oh, there's Vincent's Mountain. We don't want to go up there. Actually, maybe we do want to go up there, just in case. But still, that's another one of Vincent's plans foiled. I'm sorry that this had to happen to him. Okay, you see, look. There's Vincent's base. Is he in there right now? Is he at home? No, I don't think he's at home. Unless he's dug a secret shaft or something that I don't know about. But the odds of that are quite low since, you know, he doesn't really... Like, this area is filled with caves, and the one downside to an area being filled with caves is that... He can't really dig down without intersecting a cave system. And the best place he could dig down is underneath that massive chair that we saw earlier. Well, sorry guys, I can't believe I had to bring you along to stop one of Vincent's evil plans once again. But it looks like it's... It looks like Vincent's plan has been foiled yet again. I've escaped his clutches once, and... Now that I've saved the Irish racer, I... I suppose that's gonna be it for this video. So yeah. Bye guys! I'll see you later.